Hello, I'm Ajahn Jyoti Palo. Welcome to Sauntering into Silence. I came out here to one of my favorite spots to talk about one of my favorite meditations, which is not taught very often, which is standing meditation. Uh, when the Buddha talks about the postures of which we should be mindful in, he refers to them as walking, standing, sitting, and lying down. And that's kind of an abbreviation for in any posture you find yourself in, you should be mindful. In meditation retreats, we'd get pretty you know, detailed instructions on sitting and walking, but standing and lying down are very rarely taught. And in retreats, it's kind of hard to teach lying down just because you're in a large group. So in the future, I'll do a, a, some instructions on lying down. And it's actually a very difficult meditation unless you kind of get some of these instructions and it makes it uh, easier, it makes it harder, which actually makes it easier. But with standing meditation, I actually learned this from a couple called Rosemary and Steve Wiseman. With standing meditation, it in some ways it's very similar to doing just sitting meditation. So like whatever meditation object you're doing while sitting, you basically can do that in standing meditation as well. And I really use the standing meditation a lot when I'm doing sauntering. As you know with me, I do a lot of time-lapse photography. So I'll set the camera up and of half the time, maybe I'll, I'll feel like sitting in meditation, so I'll sit with the camera, or I'll just do standing meditation. And often that'll be like, if I don't have my tripod and the, the camera's in a situation where it might blow over if the wind is there, so I just want to be standing with the camera. So that's where I will do it. But there's, you know, infinite times during the day that we can be practicing even just a short, you know, 30 second or a minute standing meditation. Obviously, like when you're standing in line, someplace like a grocery store, post office, anytime that you're standing, you can just bring your attention into your body and be aware of your breath. And if you, you know, consciously think of that as a time of, of, of meditation, it can be standing meditation. And you can do it with your eyes open and, you know, nobody will even know that you're doing it. So it's a, I think it's a really important practice to learn. I used to do day-long retreats. And I would always, usually in the afternoon, when kind of the energy is low after people have been have eaten and you're feeling kind of heavy, in the afternoon session, I would always introduce a period of standing meditation. If you find in any of your meditations that the energy is like really low and you're falling asleep, especially if this is a habit, I think it's really important to pull yourself out of that. Because if that is just a, a habit for you, that's actually what you're cultivating. You know, if, if it happens every single time, if you just sit down and you kind of nod off, you're going to repeat that action over and over again. So it's really good when you catch it to break it. And I think it's actually sort of difficult for people. Like we have this image in our head of, you know, Buddha statue is sitting in, in Thailand in particular. I know they have standing and walking and lying down uh, Buddha images as well. But our typical you know, ideas of meditation is you're sitting with your legs crossed and eyes closed. So it, I think it's an obstacle for people to actually, uh, I don't know if it's an ego or just uh, embarrassed, but don't be, um, especially if you're practicing at home. But if you're even on a retreat or in a situation, you can just very quietly stand up, set the feet about uh, shoulder width apart, uh, flat, on the, flat on the ground, usually barefoot and you don't necessarily, um, the first retreat I did it with Stephen Rosemary Wiseman, we did it barefoot on like a really hard concrete or marble floor. They did it for an hour, which is, I wouldn't say excessive, but uh, when you do this meditation, sometimes like even after five, 10 minutes, it can get very painful. And it's, it's kind of surprising that that's the case. But so I usually do it barefoot, standing on, um, most of the cabins I've kind of been in have like cork floors, so they're kind of um, maybe a little bit softer of a finish, but you can do it on a rug or a hard floor. Just experiment with what works for you. So standing with your feet flat on the ground, bend the knees slightly, just so it, uh, you know, there's a little bit of flexibility and you're not tense. And then just go through the body, just even from the, the top of the head, you know, down. Uh, especially in the shoulders and your arms. And I just leave the arms just at uh, 
against the side and just let them get, let them hang there. Let gravity pull and you know do the same with the fingers and just go through and just see where you're holding tension in the body and just consciously allow that to be dropped. So you're just scanning the body, top of the head, down to the toes. And just do that a few times and pay attention. Then one way I like doing the, the body scanning and meditation of standing is to really just pay attention to like, you can set the intention to just be standing still. But you'll notice the body is constantly making these little micro adjustments to stay balanced, you know, moving forward, rocking sideways. And that's fine. It's because that's just what the body's doing. And so just pay attention to that. And then as you're as you're paying attention to the body and these little micro movements, then usually for me it's like five, ten minutes into it, you will start to notice that it's interestingly unpleasant to be standing. And not to resist that or to, to the tendency is is to always be seeking pleasure seeking uh, ease which is not necessarily a bad thing but for this meditation you want to just just you know be as still as you possibly can and paying attention to the body paying attention to the movements and you can you know just continue doing that you can bring the awareness to your breathing uh, body awareness. If you do, if you like doing a particular type of meditation of, of going through all, say, the various body parts. If you like doing, uh, you know, death contemplations or whatever contemplations you do uh, in your sitting meditation, you can bring that into the standing meditation. And with this, say the the first retreat that I was taught was to do it for an hour, but. Uh, usually my time lapses will be about 20 minutes long, so that's about the length of what I would do. And I would say like if I were in a group sitting or doing a, a long, you know, say 10 day retreat, and I felt there were periods of time where I, the energy was low, stand up and do uh, just even five minutes. And that uh, just that activity of bringing yourself out of the rut that the mind was getting in while you were sitting, just do the standing brings up energy, you, you kind of change your attitude and your, uh, yeah, just the way you're being. And then you can go back to sitting meditation. So just very mindfully when you're sitting, come to a standing posture. And if you're in a retreat situation, just be as quiet as possible so you're not disturbing anybody else, but don't worry too much. Um, most people probably won't notice anyway, or if they do, they'll it's just go in the background. And then stand there silently, quietly, for however length of time you feel energized, and just very quietly, mindfully, sit back down. So that's a. Just wanted to introduce this type of meditation because I think it is taught so infrequently, and I think it, it's for me it's a very valuable part of my meditation. Just enjoy the, like the rock wall behind me, or enjoy the forest as I'm was walking through the sauntering, just come to a place and I just wanted to do standing meditation and just take in the beauty. So, standing meditation. <laughs>